One of the biggest questions I get from patients who are starting chemotherapy is, can they interact with their family members? And the answer is yes. You are still free to hug and kiss your loved ones as you normally would. There are, however, some things that you do need to be cautious of while you're at home and undergoing chemotherapy. Another big topic in that regards is sexual intercourse. We do ask that you refrain from sexual intercourse for 48 hours before treatments and for up to 48 hours after. Also, we would ask that you always use protection um, because now is not a good time for a pregnancy to occur or to expose a partner to potential body fluids that may have chemotherapy in them. If you are a pregnant caregiver taking care of someone who is undergoing chemotherapy, we would ask that you handle their body fluids with gloves on or avoid their body fluids if at all possible. Um, so if they're able to take care of themselves, it's not too much of an issue, but if it's someone that you have to provide care for, um, wear gloves when changing their linens or um, helping with any um, hygiene uh, issues such as cleaning up after the toilet and make sure everything gets disposed of properly, which is just into the regular trash can, but avoid touching if you can at all possible. If you do have any home chemotherapy medications, we ask that you keep it in a separate bottle or container and not mix it with your other medications because we don't want any confusion and to keep it in a safe place um, that it is not easily accessible to. Another question people have is about the medications that they're currently on for other symptoms such as high blood pressure or diabetes. Your doctor does do a thorough interview and um, an account of all the medications that you're taking prior to starting you on chemotherapy. And if there are any known interactions, they will let you know. And if we need to make any switches, we will. Do not stop taking any of your home or other medications unless you've been advised to by your oncologist or your primary care doctor. The one thing we do ask is that you do not start any new medications without informing us. And we 100% do not want you to start any herbal remedies simply because we don't know how those will interact with the chemotherapy medications that you are receiving. Um, so if there is something you want to try, you can definitely run it by your oncologist or your clinical team and we will advise you accordingly.